So we've now arrived at our final destination before getting to Perth. We have come to Lancel in Dunes. Good morning. Hello everybody. We are here in Calberry at the Holiday House. It is uh, 7 o'clock, I think. No, it's not. No? What time is it? Past 8. It is past 8. And we're drinking coffee and we eat some uh, toast. And I wish you all in, the, in Australia a good day and in Germany a good night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry for that taking a bit longer. But he was very keen on trying. Anyway, so we're in Cowberry. We had our last night on our little um, road trip. And we are now having some breakfast and then we'll go down to the river, have a bit of a look, and then we're heading towards Perth. And we'll see what we see along the way. We have come down to the river again and it's really brown, like with all the rains and that, that happened and the river's swelling up, like all the dirt and sediments come down and made it really brown. pretty here. Glad we came down. We're going to take it easy today. Don't have to rush to get back to Perth. So we're just hanging out here by the river for an hour now, go for a bit of a walk. And there, just behind me there, is where it goes right into the ocean. Just there. This is it. We're saying goodbye to Coberry now. So we did leave our accommodation, but we did not leave Coberry just yet. We're walking to Rep Bluff now and um, have a last look at the water and the cliffs before we finally say a proper goodbye to Kelberry. This is awesome here. We've been taking photos after photos. My brother just said when we walked up here, like, you think like they can't do any better and then they, they put one on top still. And yeah, we haven't been to Rottnest yet, so that's the next thing we will be doing. <laughs> anyway, look, look at this. Look at the view. to the highway but we've come to see this one here it's a leaning tree it's a river gum because of all the wind and that that comes from over those hills there like it sweeps across the fields and that and those trees just bend with the wind and they end up looking like this so this is the, the most iconic one here but there's heaps of those around it's just just before Geraldton if you come from Perth on Durian Bay now and we're having a little break. From here it's another two hours to Perth, but we'll go down to the beach for a little bit and then we'll check out Lansdowne. That's another hour's drive. And then we'll go home. Look what we found! It's the coolest little toy in the world! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> <Yoo -hoo! laughs> 
<laughs> this is quite pretty here. So what happens here is like Julian Bay is like a little seaside holiday resort town. Well, it's a proper town too, but um, what they do have here is like the rare Australian sea lions like out on these islands that are like in front of the shoreline here and you can actually go and snorkel with them but you have to book a tour and they're quite expensive but if you're actually keen you could do that, you're guaranteed to see one but sometimes you can just see them in the water as well so we're trying our luck and if we don't see one it doesn't matter because it's still it's pretty regardless Look how clear the water is! Oh. <laughs> it's just considerably colder than anywhere we've been recently. It's not like it's not horrible either, it's refreshing. Beautiful actually. <laughs> Changed my mind, it's nice. jetty in Durian Bay. I think I should come back with my camera one of these days and um, actually come and take some photos maybe in sunset like which I think would be looking lovely. We'll see that could be like a next short little trip, a photo trip to Durian Bay. We've now arrived at our final destination before getting to Perth. We have come to Lancelin Dunes. There's still some people there so you can hire some sandboards here, you can do some sandboarding. And um, we're just having a last little look around before we head back to Perth. We're intending to get up here. My brother really really loves it here. Like, no matter where we go, he always gets out of the car and starts shaking his head because you can't believe what he's seeing because it's so impressive. It's nice to watch him. It's nice to watch him discover the place I live, really. Very, very nice. <laughs> he's so happy. and the cameras but it's still nice to look at oh it stings like needles on the skin oh look at it fly it is wow oh, it's so windy but look they've come to do a photo shoot behind us that should look nice they got it right should have taken my shoes off let's see <laughs> All right, this is it. Okay. I just took some nice photos. I might put some in there, just because they're funny. And we're going back to the car now, and then finally heading back to Perth. It was about, it wasn't actually that long a drive. Like it was mm, almost 500 kilometers today, but we stopped a lot. And so we did end up spending most of the day in the car. But it doesn't matter, not in the car, but you know, traveling. But we saw a lot, so that was very nice. A few things I want to come back to with my nice camera and take actual good photos. And now we're off back to Perth to see my little husband, Mark. Oh, I bet he had a good time as well, all by himself. <laughs> all right, if you like today's vlog, you could give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel or do both let your friends know about it would be nice all right true see you next time